Hello everyone. Hope uh, you're all well. I've decided to talk about a subject that is um, very relevant to the uh, future of the Earth, and that is the subject of uh, the possibility of comets or asteroids hitting the Earth. Now we know um, that out there there's a lot of junk of all different sizes. Every day the Earth is bombarded by micrometeorites, by uh, micro comets. In fact, uh, some of the Earth itself, the oceans, uh, are replenished. In fact, they're growing because of these uh, little micro comets coming in. And uh, those are not problems. Those are fine. But what happens when we start to get really big objects hitting the Earth? And uh, you may have heard statements like, well, no one's ever been killed by uh, an asteroid before, and the uh, chance of it happening is very, very small. So the point of this little uh, video uh, discussion is to address uh, what the probability is and what the impact would in fact be if if uh, something like this happened. And mostly I'm going to address the impact and I'll show you how to do some simple calculations to estimate uh, how big calculations to estimate uh, how big that impact would be. Uh, first with respect to um, the probability of these things happening, or has um, anybody ever been uh, hurt by an asteroid before? Well, clearly people have been hurt, there's a good record of that, but back uh, in the year 1490 there was an asteroid that hit uh, in China and 10,000 people were killed then. In the early uh, 20th century, I believe it's around 1908 or something like that, there was a relatively large meteorite or um, Comet. Comets are made out of water, by the way. Meteorites, uh, asteroids are typically made out of stony metallic material. Uh, we'll discuss a, um, a comet hitting the Earth because it's easy to calculate um, what the mass of such an object would be. But the impacts uh, are both the same, as you will soon see. But anyway, um, these things do happen, they have happened, and they will happen. In fact, the greatest threat to our own civilization is one of these things hitting the earth. And when, it's not if it will happen, it's when it will happen, there can be a big loss of life. It can happen tomorrow. And that uh, is another thing that people don't realize. We have tracked orbits of many of these uh, asteroids and comets that uh, can potentially hit the earth, but there's new ones that are being discovered all the time. And typically, they're discovered after they've made their closest encounter to Earth. Stuff is coming from outside, stuff is getting pushed into new orbits all the time, so it's a very good possibility we will get hit with something and we won't even know it. I won't discuss today what we can do about it. Now there is some good news, we can actually uh, deflect asteroids and meteors and maybe I'll leave that to another discussion because I won't have time to cover that. But let's discuss the probability. Uh, if you look at the moon, or you look at uh, Mercury, you'll see it's marked up with asteroids uh, impacts, there's craters all over the place. On Earth, we, Earth has been hit with a similar frequency. Of course we know there's erosion that uh, sort of wipes away the marks made by these asteroids. But a big asteroid hits about every million years or so. And what I mean by big here is something that's on the order of the size of a cubic mile. Uh, now, a mile, uh, we can understand us in the U.S., we like miles, and it uh, gives in England also, you like miles. Uh, a mile is about um, 1,600 meters, but us physicists, we like to stick with meters and, and work in those units. So one mile is uh, 1,609 meters. So imagine um, an object with a radius, suppose it's round, well, I like round things. Uh, so the radius is about 800 meters, 804 meters. So the volume of such an object is actually quite big. If you go through the numbers, the volume is, is uh, four-thirds 